Good morning, good morning. How are you today? I always find myself saying good morning. Maybe that's because I'm a morning person. It's uh, early in the morning here. It's around uh, 6.30, I think, something like that. And um, I love mornings. Who else is a morning person? Um, okay, so I just wanted to jump on and say hello. I haven't seen you for a little while. And I thought I would just jump on and tell you about my main method for learning uh, actually any new skill, uh, but particularly uh, language, particularly business English, of course, because that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I have a method that works really well, and it's called the three P's method. And it sounds really straightforward, but you would be amazed at how effective it really is. So the first P is preparation. Now, preparation is just like the key to anything that's worth having. If you have um, a meeting, you always, if you, if you really are, want to nail it, want to do really well at it, um, you will prepare well for it. Make sure that you're organised, your thoughts are organised and make sure that your key message is in place and, um, and all the rest of it. Um, if you want to, oh, I can't think of anything business related, but if you want to uh, enter a major tennis tournament, Wimbledon just started yesterday and with some really good matches, I have to say. Um, and the preparation that those tennis players have done has been astronomical. Um, so prepare and practice. So along with preparation is practice what you've prepared. There's no point in learning the forehand if you don't then practice it to make sure that you absolutely perfect it. Um, and then that leads us to the third one, which is to perform. And so once you've prepared something, so if you're doing a presentation or you're going in for an interview, you're doing a negotiation, especially if it's not in your own language, in your native language, prepare. Find the vocabulary that you'll need. Find the phrases that you'll need. Actually write down the presentation or, or the um, negotiation or anything else that you want to do. Write it down. Organise your thoughts. What do you want to say? I mean, sometimes these times can be really stressful when you're when you're doing it in your own language, never mind when you're doing it in, in a non-native language. So make sure that you prepare, that you look for the relevant information. Try and think about what might be asked, what questions might be asked, and prepare for those answers as well. So it's all about preparation. And then practice what you've prepared. And stand up, do that presentation in front of, even if it's just your phone, but perhaps your family, perhaps some, some co colleagues or co-workers and then perform and then you'll get that deal. I'm Joanne, I'm a business English coach and I am here to help you. I now run a Saturday Solutions Clinic for any questions you might have with regards to improving your business English. That could be pronunciation, it could be a special um, presentation you've got lined up. It could be general advice about how to improve your business vocabulary, anything you like. It's free. I won't pitch to you. I just want to help out. So just, I'll put a link in the description below. It's called Saturday Solutions for a reason because it's held on Saturdays, <laughs> which I figured is quite good for those business people because it gives you a bit of time during the weekend to just ask the questions and then maybe follow through with some of the suggestions. Anyway, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it's 15 minutes, just hop on. If you would prefer, just in the, in the Calendly link, just send me uh, your question so that I can start addressing it immediately. Um, but if you'd prefer to talk to me, listen, if nothing else, it's a free 15 minutes to practice your English. Okay, any questions, message me. Please connect if you're not already connected. I know most of you will be. Um, and I look forward to meeting as many of you as I can. Have a wonderful day. Today's Tuesday. Here in Malta, it's going to be really hot. They reckon it's going to be 37. I know in areas of Japan, it's pretty close to that already. So uh, stay cool and uh, hydrated, of course, and have a wonderful day. Bye.